Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sort characters by frequency. So in this question, we're given a string S and we have to sort it in decreasing order based on the frequency of the characters. And the frequency of a character is defined by the number of times that character repeats in the string given to us. And our final task is to return the sorted strings. If there are multiple answers, we can return any one of them. So let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. So let's take the first example, we are given the string as called tree and we need to sort it in decreasing order based on the frequency of characters. So this question deals with frequency of characters. So as you can see here, E appears two times, R appears once and T appears once. Directly there is a keyword that we can sort the output based on the frequency of characters. So we can write a comparator which will sort the input based on the frequency of the characters present inside it. And after sorting, the two E's will come in the beginning, then there is a R and then there is a T. Two E's can come in the beginning, then there is a T and then there is a R. Both are accepted and that is the expected output here. So this is a very simple approach. You just sort the array based on the frequency of characters and then use a string builder. So the main catch of this question is that you have to use a string builder to form your output and then convert the string builder into a string because finally the return type is a string. We have to use a string builder because it takes O of one time to append characters into the string builder. But if you use a string to append, it will take concatenation. So for example, if you if there is a character E and you want to add the character F to it. So this will take O of N time because, because strings are immutable. But if you use a string builder, it will take O of one time to append into the string. So let's take a look at the code for this approach. So this is the input given to us. Let us take the first input that is tree. And I'm using a map to compute our uh, frequencies. So let me create a map. So the key is going to be a character. So we are going to store the characters and the value are going to be the integers, which represents the frequency of the respective character. So I'm iterating through the string from left to right. First we pick T. So CH is now T. So we check if T is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So it will go to the else block and it will add T and set its frequency to 1. In the next iteration we are at R. We check if R is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So again we go to the else statement, add R into the map and set its frequency to 1. Next character is E. Check if it is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So else block will be executed. Add E and set its frequency to 1. The last element is E. We'll check if E is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So it will go and execute this statement. So it will get its current character and increment its current frequency with 1. We are incrementing it here. So E has now value 2. And now I create a list where I create a list of all the characters present inside the map. This is a key set. So we get list. So I name this list as cas. So I get t, comma, r, comma, e as the values present inside this cas. And now I'm sorting this cas by using a comparator using lambdas. So I'm comparing two objects inside the string and sorting it based on its frequency. So I'm getting the frequency of the larger character first and comparing it with the frequency of the next character. So after sorting, this will become e has larger value. So e will appear first, then r will appear or t will appear. So it depends on the insertion because in hash map, the order of insertion is not maintained. So it is based on your runtime and how your uh, characters are present inside the hash map because it does not always maintain the order of insertion. You can test it using an IDE. So let's say E comma R comma T or it can also be E comma T comma R. Now I'm building the string builder. So string builder is initially empty and now I'm iterating through the characters present. First character CH is equal to E. And I'm using a for loop to repeat how many times E is appearing. So from the map, I'm getting the frequency of E. So frequency of E is 2. So this loop will run for two times. So I will be equal to 0 first and then I will be equal to 1. And as soon as it becomes, it uh, ends the loop. And in each iteration, we are adding E. So first we'll add one E. And when I is equal to 1 in next iteration, one more E will be added. And we go to the next character. Next character is equal to T. Now we get the frequency of t. Frequency of t is equal to 1. So only 1 t will be incremented. And the next iteration, we are at character r. We get the frequency of r. Frequency of r is 1. So only 1 r will be appended. And finally, we come outside the for loop and we convert the string builder into a string. So e, e, t, r will be returned as the output, which is expected here. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n, where n is the length of the input given to us. And the space complexity is O of n because we're using a hash map to compute our output. 
now let's take a look at approach to where you can rebuild the string instead of sorting the characters present inside the string so for that we are going to use bucket sort so in our first approach we sorted the input string so for sorting we are taking n o of n log n time and now you can observe that you can rebuild the input string without sorting so for that we need to get the frequency of every character and store it inside a map so we are going to use bucket sort and rebuild the string so let me show you how bucket sort works and how we can use that to build our output so let's take the same string given to us so first let's build the hash map so like in approach one we need a map to check the frequency of every character so same again key will store the character and value will be the frequency we start with t add it into the map we start with r add it into the map we take e add it into the map and e is already present inside the map so increment its value so e's value will become 2 so this is the first step and the second step is to find the fre maximum frequency so that we need to know how many buckets we need to form so second step is to find max frequency so max frequency is equal to 2 so now let's form the buckets so our buckets are going to be lists and each bucket represents the frequency and one observation we have to make that a character's max frequency cannot be more than the length of the character so this is the main observation so a character can occur max length of the input string times e will max occur length of the time so we need to store a bucket starting from value 1 you can have this as the minimum input and this as the maximum input so we need a bucket so this will be an array and the value of the bucket is going to be the frequency of the characters the min frequency and the max frequency min frequency is going to be one right because a character if it is present inside the string it can minimum appear for one time it can't appear for zero if it is appearing for zero it won't be present inside the input so minimum once it can appear and maximum we already calculated so first we start with min value which is present in the beginning and we create a max value bucket which is present in the end so in this case max is equal to 2 and in this case min is equal to 1 and each bucket is going to be a list of characters so this will represent the frequency so first we have to initialize the buckets so we start a for loop from where i will start from minimum value minimum value is 1 so we can always start from 1 because we didn't calculate so in this case min is equal to 3 and max is equal to 3 so instead of calculating min we are going to start from i is equal to 1 and it will go until it is equal to max so with this loop we are going to fill the step 3 and now we have to iterate through the keys present inside the map so that we get how many times that character is appearing so we start with the first character the first character is t get its frequency it is 1 so add it in the value 1 bucket so t has the value 1 in the next iteration we take r get its value its value is 1 so add it inside the 1 bucket so r is also here the next iteration we are at e the value is 2 so add it into the 2 bucket and now we reach all the keys present inside the input map and now we have to form a string builder so we are again using a string builder because it will take o of 1 time to append characters into the string builder and now we iterate from right to left because we need to form our string builder based on decreasing value of frequency and max value is present in the end so we use a for loop from right to left and now we pick the character present inside the that bucket so how many characters were present it is having only one character and the value of this bucket is equal to 2 so we have to multiply e two times so e should appear two times and now we go to the next bucket next bucket is having two characters we start with this character and multiply this character with the value of the bucket value of the bucket is 1 so r should appear one time next we go to another character inside the same bucket and we multiply that character into the bucket values time that is t will be appearing t into one time that is once and now we finished all the buckets because we uh, iterated from right to left we start from max and we iterate until one and now we have a string builder we need to convert the string builder into a string because the return type is a string so e e r t will be returned as a string which is the expected output here now let's implement the same steps which i have shown you here for bucket sort we implement the first step second step third step and fourth step is to fill the buckets fifth step is to uh, form the string builder and sixth step is to convert the string builder into a string so let's quickly code this up step wise and while coding you will clearly get the idea how the uh, logic is happening coming to the function given to us this is the function name and the return type is a string because we have to return a sorted string as the output and we are given the input as 
So let's do a base check that if this input string is empty or if the length of the string is equal to zero, then we can return that as the output because we can't sort it because a null or an empty string is a sorted string. So we can directly return it. Now let's declare a map so that we can find the frequency of the characters present inside this. So the key is going to be character and the, and the value is going to be an integer. Now let's iterate through the input string s by character using a for each loop. So we access the string character by character. For that I have to convert this input string into a character array. So I use the two char array method. And now we have to insert this character into the map as, it, as its key. So map.put of the character. So that is ch. And the frequency, I'm going to get the current frequency and use the get or default method to get the current frequency. If there's no ch present inside the map, we will, we will return zero. It will return zero or it will get its current frequency and increment it by one. And now to implement bucket sort, we need to find out how many buckets we need to place for that maximum frequency of a character. So which character is appearing max amount of time. For that, let's use a variable max and initialize it to the minimum possible value. And now we keep updating the max variable using the map.max function and compare it with the current max or the current frequency of this character. So map.get of ch will give you the current frequency of that character and it will keep comparing itself with the max variable. So this for loop will give us the map filled with the character and its frequencies and also a max frequency variable. So better name this variable as max frequency. And now we need to initialize the buckets. So I take a list and each list is going to contain a list of characters which are having the value of that bucket and this list is going to contain characters i'm going to name this list as bucket and this is going to be an array list now we need to initialize a empty list for every bucket and how many buckets we need we need max num max frequency number of buckets so we use a for loop which starts from zero and it goes until max frequency and initialize a new array list for every bucket and this array list is going to contain characters and now we have to iterate through the keys of the map we created so for that i'll use a for each loop where the keys are going to have characters so i declare a character and initialize this as a key i need a set of keys of all the keys present inside the input map so i use the map.keyset method which will give the set of all the keys inside the map and now we need to get the current frequency so we will get that by finding out the frequency of this key so map dot get of key and now we need to add that character into this bucket so buckets dot so we need to get the bucket value first so in which bucket you want to add that character so get the bucket value by using the frequency variable and add this uh, key into the bucket and now we have the bucket value and for that bucket value we have the character present inside that bucket now we just need to build our output so we use a string builder to build our output and now we have our buckets arranged in ascending to descending order. Start with the maximum value bucket, which is at the rightmost index position because we need to arrange it based on uh, decreasing value of the frequencies. So the max bucket value is present at the rightmost position. So iterate from right to left. So I create a variable bucket value and iterate from the end of the list. I get the end of the list index by buckets dot size minus one. And this bucket value variable will iterate until it reaches the value one because there won't be any bucket value of zeros uh, count because if a character is present inside a string it will minimum appear for one value and we decrement the bucket value variable by one each time so this is capital v and now we need to get the character to append it into the string builder and where is that character present it is present inside the bucket so we'll use a for loop to access all the characters inside the bracket from right to left so initially we start from the last bucket value so get the character so the character is present inside the bucket right so buckets dot and which bucket you want to access and you want to access this values bucket and this will give us the character now we have the character present inside the variable ch and now we need to append it into the string builder but we need to see how many times we need to append into the string builder that will depend on the bucket value right so we need another loop so i use this variable called value which is initially zero and it, it will iterate for bucket value number of times. So bucket var and val plus plus because we need to increment our value. So this for loop is for knowing how many times we need to append this current character into the string builder. So for example, two is appearing two times, right? So the bucket value is equal to two. So this for loop will run for two times and which character is present inside that bucket? We are 
checking which character is present and storing it inside the variable ch. So append that character into the string builder. So sp dot append of ch. And now finally outside the for loop, this for loop will construct our string builder and we have to return a string. So convert this string builder into a string and return it as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the string s and the space complexity is O of n because we are using a map and also a list of buckets to construct our output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.